Hello again folks, uh, here we have one of the largest sets now available at least in size of the model, perhaps not in part but uh, certainly up there with the uh, mechanoids which of course as you can tell if you are already into your mechano and the newer stuff is pretty much based on mechanoid parts I dare say there will be some new uh, shapes and parts that we haven't used looks like we've got uh, some metal involved as well at least going on the box image of course it's based on a Tyrannosaurus Rex I suppose but it's the Mechasaur personally I would have preferred it if it was called Mechanosaur but uh, it's quite uh, <laughs> some kids might find it a bit scary I suppose of a certain age it does say for 10 plus years um, I've found that yeah yeah, perhaps around 8 to 10. Generally, I've only had one uh, kid, a young girl, at a, a, one of the, the Meccano shows I'd a display at. It was a bit wary, to say the least. Uh, backed away a little bit from one of the mechanoids. But once she saw other kids... Uh, well, I've got other kids to operate it, because I've got a bit, well, worn out, to be honest. <laughs> once she saw that, and then took the mechanoid for a walk which you can do no problems at all so it's just the unknown I suppose but back to this one mechasaur I do like this one I mean I know mechanoid based stuff has its limitations at the moment and we all or I'm personally not too bothered about the reprogramming because I just not it's not my thing I suppose I can see where people are coming from though it would be great to plug in your laptop or whatever and just get on with it learn programming that's not an option at the moment I doubt it's going to be an option well I think we can pretty much say that's not going to be an option with this but I had noticed this I saw this when uh, there was uh, I think it must have been the January Toy Fair London Toy Fair and I thought no that's a bit um, yeah it's a bit different uh, from the normal mechano things but it's sort of I don't know it's just a little bit more oh look at that and let's hope it at least gives some of that back in actual operation now I think we can all guess it's going to be very much based on uh, a mecha brain as in the mechanoids but of course we don't know exactly yet it's looking on the box it looks like the brain is on the top now the other thing about this, which I hadn't noticed, I hadn't realised, it actually walks, or walks in a fashion. Now, of course, I haven't built it yet. Just looking on the box and the design, you've got like a big motor assembly here. We call that the hip, if you like. And we've also got springs up here, which do look a little different to normal uh, Meccano springs over the years. Uh, so that'll be something. Uh, I suppose maybe the colours makes it stand out. The box is quite nice, um, it does have a feeling of uh, maybe last minute because we've got Mechasaur that's sort of stuck on so it stands out a bit and of course the head is as well, it does have the impression of coming out at you I suppose. This one was, um, it's too early to say yet because this is not available very many places and it's via Amazon France, it's actually come from Italy. Uh, if I've read the address right um, Lamina, Lamena, I think, Italy, um, to the UK, and I'll tell you the price roughly, but do take this one with a pinch of salt. I did buy this with, I uh, thought, oh, got to get that sort of thing, which, you, you know, try and stop yourself doing that, because you end up spending loads of money than you really ought to, and I have at the moment on Meccano. Um still a few to order but we get in there now this came from Italy via Amazon France and it took uh, well the actual date it could have been the end of October by the time it arrived now to me that read that it wasn't really available yet but I think it was about five days and it was here and it came you've got all your fancy cheap delivery companies you can reel them off there's hundreds of them probably and I know people have had problem with raw mail, but to be fair, this came, I think, although I'm not sure, via the, I don't know, it's privatised now in Italy, but anyway, the usual run-of-the-mill state 
maybe was state, postal service and royal mail. And the only thing wrong with the box was that the tape was starting to lift a bit. The box itself was sound and how good was the back packaging? Well there wasn't a lot of packaging in the box but it was good enough because this raised bit is in the same shape it was when it left the factory probably in China and is in the same shape now. Unlike Amazon the other day with a set that come like it had been trodden on. Normally I have no problem with Amazon but at the moment I am. Anyway, I suppose we could do a video all of that on its own. Price, I paid about 150 quid it worked out. Now the RRP of this was initially meant to be around 109, 110 quid. But I think most times it would go up a little bit. Um, of course that was post free as well, so all included. So, you know, it's too early to say. I can't compare with anywhere else. can't find it anywhere else at least not a couple of days ago. So let's say a ballpark price of about 125 quid. Downside it is battery powered. Let's hope it's more efficient than the small mechanoid because it's 4C batteries again so I may be looking at um, using one of the rechargeable battery packs from a mechanoid. Uh, incidentally folks mechanoids uh, I have seen the little one for sale for as little as 70 quid brand new uh, unfortunately that doesn't come with a rechargeable battery pack and charger but I have seen the larger one is about 150 now of course the new versions due to come out apart from all its limitations if you can buy uh, uh, and maybe I'll do that myself actually a large mechanoid for 150 or less 150 quid or less you've got that much in the way of nuts and bolts and then you've got the charger and everything else on top so it's probably um, well, certainly a better buy now, I suppose. It's it's a it's a no-brainer, really, on parts alone, just the nuts and bolts. So anyway, enough waffle about this one. Outside, uh, it's uh, it is three feet long, but that's head to tail. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be about um, a foot to fifteen inch high uh, from the feet to the body, and uh, probably two foot high altogether. So let's have a look inside. Half a mo, folks. In my haste. I've not looked at the back of the box, uh, itching to get into it I suppose, remembering what it was like with the large and the small mechanoids with a box full of parts and well laid, well, well protected, of course all in bags which we'll know that'll be the case. So looking at the back of the box, uh, I dare say this will be a lot less interactive than the mechanoid robot, probably more akin to the secondary models which were somewhat dinosaur like. And I dare say that's where they got the inspiration from for this more focused dinosaur. Uh, back of the box, it tells her a few things what it can do and uh, how to interact. Programmable. Uh, we all know how programmable it will be. Um, not really programmable, I suppose. we we'll wait to get into it. Um, Responds to petting. Which... With the mechanoids, I find they're quite like a pet, uh, but one of the features they've take it seems they've taken off, and that is naming it, your own name. Um, but I say we could go on all day about several things about mechanoid, and um, some people like them, some think people really do not like them uh, after they've built them. Uh, I'm okay with them, but I can see where people are coming from. And obviously this is very much based on that format, uh, totally really, but perhaps a few new features and uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, it guards and attacks. Um, interesting, <laughs> that could be interesting. Uh, looks like we've got the lights in the eyes as well. Uh, real stomping action. So, I wouldn't. it's not going to walk in the normal sense I suppose, but uh, we'll see. Um, I dare say it'd probably be a better set at 100 quid than 125, 150, but you know, brand new out, you're going to pay top price. Oh, right, yeah. sliced all the seller tape, I think. I keep finding others that I haven't, so we'll see how we go. And hopefully, it won't all fall out. Generally, these are great boxes, and I have used the large uh, mechanoid box myself, continue to do so, to carry some smaller mechano models around to exhibitions. So, a decent, robust box. Let's see if they still are inside, and hope that everything doesn't fall out. And there we are. 
which is perhaps not quite as robust as the uh, large mechanoid box. Um, it's probably not as rammed with parts, meaning a bit more movement. So let's. Uh, there's the instruction book. Nicely done. Nicely kept protect in a protective little bag, and it's stitched. So that's the same as usual. Very very heavy book. And that's when you need the stitching. And a rather green, isn't it? Very green. <laughs> a lot more green than you expected, really. Uh, what have we got then? Well, usual parts. We've got uh, usual mechanoid parts. Nice size bag. <laughs> One video, I'll never mention that. Hey, look folks. We've got metal mechano. Uh, real mechano. What a bag full of... Uh, Strips and angle brackets and double bent strips and all sorts of things. Oh, there's a one inch by one inch corner bracket there. So, metal, folks, metal. Uh, loads more. Loads of parts. What was it? 700 and 715. Uh, here is the brain. I wonder where the batteries go. I think they go in the brain. That's the brain. Different style. Um, switch on the front. Or on the top, I suppose. A uh, little bit smaller than the Mecha Brain and the Mecha Noise. And, yeah, a bit lighter, I would say. Um, we'll find out where the batteries go. Whether they go in the back of that. Or somewhere else. Here we have the uh, hip motor, and looking at it, we've got. Um, as you can see, it, there's a gear in there. Don't you see that? There's that. That's obviously going to move, and then that. I'm wondering whether it sort of um, it's in there like that and ro rotates in the middle by the looks of it there. Uh, I do say that's for the neck, but uh, all that will become clear as we build it, I suppose, which may be soon, people. No other bag of uh, very green. Those are like Kawasaki's. I don't think we can do anything with that. Oh, we've got another smaller bag here. Um, the weight pushing down on that. Uh, the uh, well, they are common now, but the newer hex driver. We do have several of the new flip flop plastic um, strips there, the bendy ones, and some other odd pieces there. There's um, a bag of green bits. Uh, oh, limey. Uh, needless to say, there is a shed load of 12 mil bolts. Absolute shed load, as usual. With oh, got a lot of longer bolts as well. Not, I can't see any standard bolts, so we might have to do it on uh, a 16p. They were for a, uh, a standard, um, sorry, a 12 mil bolt, and that's the light unit there. Got a light at each end. Uh, anyway, some of the bits and pieces. Some new shapes. These brackets here. Uh, what were they before? Brackets, brackets, yes. Those look like they're to hold the uh, the hip in place, the motor, the main motor. So. Uh, uh, if you like lime green, you'll love it. If you don't, you're not going to like it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe we have a few limitations with the mechanoid style um, sets. But, in some ways, it's nice to see something different, um, or a little bit different. This is not, I suppose, going to be too different from mechanoid. But uh, a fairly well stocked box, uh, some parts are quite heavy, hence the distortion, they're like that, and of course I'm holding it up like this as well, it's not helping. 
So perhaps not quite as tough a box as the Mechanoid. Sorry for the siren in the background. I've done nothing wrong, honest officer. Apart from spending too much money on Mechano. Should you need help in several countries, just press pause. Nothing on the back. And we have the instruction book. It's a weighty job. It's going to have a bit of abuse because of the weight. Uh, try and keep it as nice as possible. Um, usual format. Tips. And it's just one model. Uh, specific model. Well, there's nothing wrong with the size of those uh, instructions, is there? Nice to see. Oh, and that's what makes it a, a, a thicker uh, instruction book. It's probably in French as well, going on mechanoid uh, instruction books. Hence why it's twice the size than it uh, perhaps could be. But um, who knows? You will be able to download these instructions off the Mechano website eventually, but there's nothing new on at the moment, or at least not a few days ago. So, uh, yeah, it all looks pretty clear. Um, nothing there to really worry you. Now, it looks a lot. Um, people are not generally into Meccano. Um, you don't know how lucky you are, really, with instructions these days. Yeah, they may not be perfect, but they're pretty good. There's the odd mistake, of course. The original Mechanoid that I built, that had um, repeat instructions, which confused me a little, but don't take a lot. But one time you get a, a drawing and then a m bit more complicated model you get two drawings and a bit of text and then the 60s ones the sort of exploded diagrams ones I think that's probably the worst 60s and 70s ones you tend to get uh, the exploded diagram and a parts list and that's about it but with these it looks a lot I mean it's quite a thick uh, mechanical instruction book was it's quite thick um, it's decent quality paper, uh, but if we go through to the end, if I can find it, yes, it does seem that we've got instructions. Aha! Oh no! Oh no! We're all right. Seize, yeah. I've just found out where the batteries go. They do go into the brain, like that. There, like that. So it's going to be awkward to change that to a rechargeable battery pack without. Getting the soldering iron out and some wire, I dare say. But anyway, so let's find out how many stages there is. Ah, oh, 126. Uh, where are we? There, that's the last one. Put his tail on. 126 stages. Now, 126 stages, that sounds a lot. But if I just flick through randomly, we're back to where I started, really. You see how they're all separated into very... Uh, well, just a few things in each section, so really you could probably knock off a third of those sections uh, by adding stuff in, but into different uh, sections. So, for example, um, look at 18 and 19 there. Would there have been much bother putting that together? Well, probably not, if that was in the same uh, instruction, part of the instructions. Probably not, but it's separate, it makes it a lot easier. The hardest thing, especially in a set like this, is finding the parts. A lot of parts, and they're all in bags together, which is normal, of course. Um, and it's sorting them out. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Uh, you can build your model with um, all the parts laid out first. One chap did that. He had the room to do it, and more importantly, he didn't have to put it away every time. If you're going to have to put it away, then it's a case of leave them in the bags and uh, hunt for the parts a bit. Of course, as the build progresses, that gets easier, but that can add time to the build. So here we are with the parts list, folks. Two full pages. Look at that. All laid out quite nicely. Uh, we even have a 6 and 5 sixteenths inch long round axle. That's 170 millimetres if you're in new money. Um, just the one. Uh, and notice the uh, the dimensions of the axles are perhaps a little bit more accurate now. Uh, before you just get uh, a two inch axle would be 50 millimeter, but looking at there we've got 51 millimeter now, for example. We do have a standard, well, I say standard. Oh, I suppose it is a spring by the looks of it on the face of it. Let's fold it over. 
although I'd probably damage the book doing this. Bring it a bit closer to you. One of the springs, and there's two of them, there looks like something akin to what was in, say, the Army multi kits in the 70s. Um, but parts wise, uh, roughly, because guess what, folks, I've already worked it out. Using the uh, nuts there, 211, the standard nuts, and the uh, the nine and a half mil, I got fooled into thinking that it was more half inch um, bolts, which is the norm with the mechanoids, but not this one. Most of your bolts are nine and a half millimeter, three eighth inch, and there's 103 of those. Well, those taken as the guide and the nuts, you're looking at 25 quid just for the nuts and bolts there and then there's all the others and there's 75 12 mil and um, uh, a nine and a half 15 a 12 uh, and a half inch stroke 12 mil is 16p so you can see from that you're getting a load of bolts for your money and nuts not bad as well there's only six nylock nuts but I dare say it'll be the mechanoid nylock with this which is shallower so it's easier for clearance um, parts wise new looking through well, of course, we've got new parts to do with the main hip motor, the brackets for that. Uh, the brain is a new shape, uh, we'll do different things. Probably a bit smaller because it doesn't have to do as much, I suppose. Uh, we've got some new um, plastic parts there. You've got the head unit there. Not all of them are new, of course. Uh, looking through the list on the right there, or rather in front of you now, there is again a few new shaped parts. Plastic, of course. The teeth at the bottom looks like the teeth, and there's 12 teeth. Uh, there's that long axle. Um, several um, metal pieces, several of the uh, new flexible flip flop strips. Uh, so, um, on the face of it, it, looks more parts than it says, really. Um, so not bad at all, really good instruction book, uh, well put together anyway it looks that way, uh, it's only in once, um, I don't know why they did it twice before really, because there's, there's no need for any language really, um, except for things like the brain. Looks like we've only got three sockets on the brain, so again that will limit things that you may be able to do with it. Well, the instructions, the main instructions are only in once, which is really, they only really need to be. There's no language involved, it's all pictures and numbers, of course. Here we've got some uh, button functions on the brain. Uh, we'll start at the middle, at the top, directional buttons, obviously, forward, left and right. Now backwards. Hmm. Eight ball mode, that uh, sort of Yankee um, US uh, uh, pool ball. You ask questions and shake it, it gives you an answer at random. Same sort of idea. Room guard mode. Um, press once to enter room guard mode. The mecha saw will respond to lights being turned on or sound by roaring ferociously and charging forward. So watch out. Attack button. That's uh, um, <clears throat> a little violent perhaps. <laughs> press once to initiate a charge attack. Press and hold to initiate a lunge attack. Okay. Playback mode. Press once to play back your latest recording from record mode. So it seems like it's a much more basic uh, mechanoid brain um, with, well, yes, limited features, but I suppose without the arms and that, you can't really do as much. Um, and the record mode there as well. Um, and then on this side, First up, it tells you how to record the animations, and here it says technical specs. Okay, so just telling you what's what on the brain itself. So uh, on the left, at the bottom of it, this will be uh, LED eyes port. Next one across the leg motor port, and the next one across to that the neck motor port. Uh, we've got a light sensor on the main body, top left. There's a microphone the on off switch and the speaker so on the face of it it is uh, a l I don't want to be detriment of it yet at all but uh, a lesser clever brain if you like 
uh, autonomous mode. Mechasaur has a personality of its own that evolves as you play and interact with him. Petting will make him coo and giggle as he becomes happier. Don't underestimate him though. Having him attack will make him a much more aggressive and ferocious Mechasaur that roars and growls. Ooh, I wonder which one I'll be doing. <laughs> Mechasaur will roam, snort, hum and maybe even break wind. It actually says fart. I like that. It says fart. <laughs> With an F. Uh, when left to his own devices. <laughs> I want another one. Uh, Ignoring will wake, make him bored and he will eventually fall to sleep. <laughs> well, you've got to have a little bit of bottom jokes here. It makes it, uh, it's a good laugh. And then we've got the French instructions the same there. Uh, again, French there. French. Oh, hang on. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Uh, Spanish there. Same instructions in Spanish. As I say, this is why they tend to be a bit thicker than normal. Um, when they do have to have language, they do tend to put a lot of them in. German. You watch, I'll say one language is not the right language and somebody will go, ah, you, you've upset me. Uh, Dutch. Netherlands there. Who else we got? Uh, oh, Italian there. Italian there. All the same, just different language. Or languages. Uh, Portuguese. There we are. I can't say I've seen Portuguese in a Meccano instruction book before. And uh, Russian. I'm guessing it's Russian as it says are you. So if I've got that wrong and it's somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure it's Russian. I do apologise if I got that wrong. And yeah, we've got a lot of you know choking hazards and all that sort of stuff on the back. So that's given us a pretty decent insight to its um, its character, if you like, or possible two characters. It says ten plus. Um, I would say that's uh, 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 yeah, going on experience of my builds with me Mechanoid, I would say that it's not that difficult, but uh, I think you probably get a bit fed up uh, because they are long builds. This one shouldn't be as long as a. This is, I'm reckoning this should be about four to six hours, I suppose, but that's only a guess at the moment. So yeah, yeah, yeah. at a certain age, you tend to get fed up more quicker. And then a little bit older, you tend to get distracted by other things. Anyway, computer games, video and all that. Girls. Boys, if you're a girl. And all that. So there's other distractions once you get to a certain age. Uh, but yeah, I say 10, 12 year old. You, uh, 12 year old shouldn't really have much bother at all. Um, as long as the instructions seem to be decent. And they do seem to be decent. Um... We will be starting this. This is going to jump the queue because, well, why not? It farts, people. What's not to like? <laughs> so there we are, folks. Uh, Mechasaur from Meccano, of course. Meccano Tech line. Uh, Meccano Maker System. 10 plus years, 715 parts. It walks in a fashion, it roars, it farts. Oh dear, bad language. Um, I wonder if YouTube will knock this video on the head because I've said the word fart. Interesting. Well, it's only a natural function, you know. It's better out than in, as they say. So, for younger viewers, that means breaking wind. Um, there we are. What can you say about him? We need a name, I suppose. Although Mechasaur is pretty good. I would prefer Mechanosaur. I know it's more long-winded, but it gets the name out there. And uh, I dare say it'll have its limitations in regarding not being able to program it fully by plugging it in at a guess. And uh, because of the nature of the model, it's, it'll have a lot less features to do anyway than a mechanoid. But it looks pretty good to me. I mean, yeah. And uh, those probably only in the UK... And probably only of a certain age, so 35, 40. We'll get the next reference. I need to get some chewits. Bye, folks.